One of the biggest mistakes you see, especially here at CSUN, is you see a lot of headhunters. They kind of forget about the body and they just kind of hit you in the head as much as they can. And they kind of neglect a lot of the aspects of fighting. Because when you headhunt, you kind of just zero in on the head and that's it. And there's a lot more to it than that. So what convinced me to go in Boston Cup was my uh, future career as a law enforcement officer. I needed to know how to defend myself, so I think this is like the first step to take at college. And then from there, I'll go on and see how I portray in the future. So I guess coming here, I knew that I wanted to do something that I already kind of like felt like I related to or like I already had like some experience in. So like I looked forward to the boxing club and like I was like, oh, there's a boxing club here. So I joined it. And yeah, it's been good so far. My first emotions um, the first day of practice was um, I was pretty nervous. Like my stomach was full of butterflies, and you know I was like, oh my god, like I'm gonna beat up. You know, like I don't know what to do. But uh, throughout the practices, I got comfortable with everybody, and I guess learned how to become friends with them. The first day of practice, I was like, before it actually started, I was a little bit nervous because like I didn't know anyone, so I was like, oh, what are these people like better than me and like. I'm not good enough and like whenever I started like everyone was friendly so I was like oh you know it's pretty chill. Outside of boxing I was a football player my entire life from six years old to 18 until I blew up my knee basically in high school. Um, coming into season I had no boxing experience whatsoever. Since then I've been on the team since I was a freshman and I've been ever since I'm a senior now so four and a half years. We train Monday through Thursday so that's about um, four days. Uh, it's a two hour workout and it's, it's pretty intense. Um, we start with an intense warm up, and then after that, we go from shadow boxing, and after from shadow boxing, we go to sparring. And then, if we work in the SRC, we uh, we just go straight to the bags. The exercising was like really intense; like it was an intense training. But like, I mean, I enjoyed it. Like, I enjoyed it a lot, so I knew that I was going to stay here for a while. Um, my thoughts about my instructor and my presence—they're pretty, they're pretty cool. You know, they really helped me a lot. You know, how to hit my hip movements and how to portray, you know, like power through my arms. So they're pretty helpful as coaches and presidents. With Matt, I've known Matt for four and a half years. He was a coach here when I was a freshman and I've been working with him since. Uh, he showed me like a lot of new things that I didn't know before, like just like different movements and like combinations. And he like, he kind of woke up like something else in me that I didn't know I had before when I used to box. So like now I'm just like a lot more like strict with myself kind of. My biggest reward, at least here at CSUN, is seeing your teammates succeed. That's number one. You know, um, every fight I've had with it, at least with CSUN, has been canceled last minute. And it's devastating. You know, you want to cry. But seeing your teammates that you've trained with, seeing them get their fights, seeing them win, seeing them succeed, is one of the most rewarding aspects of being on the team.